it's Allison. Yes, I am totally wearing a sequined dinosaur patch denim shirt right now. Totally normal, right? <laughs> I'm actually about to head to Magic Kingdom today and have a very happy day. But before I do that, I wanted to film a little video for you. So today, I'm going to be showing you what's on my phone. So I use tons of different apps on my phone and I'm very proud of the way I organized it. Well, my boyfriend Brandon helped me organize it and this has been a requested video so I decided this would be a fun one to do today. I have lots of photo apps, social media apps, shopping apps, and many more. So stay tuned if you'd like to find out what's on my phone. Okay, so this is my iPhone. I have a rose gold iPhone 6s Plus, so it is quite large. You can see my hand, it's about the same exact size. Um, I really do like the larger phone though because the screen is so big and you're able to see everything super clearly. So this is my lock screen. I, I have a beautiful picture of a cactus that I took at Laguna Beach. And this is what my phone looks like when you open it up. So this is my first page and I actually only have two pages on my iPhone and then of course the news page um, that is a default for the iPhone and I am just so happy with how it looks and how it's organized and then on my lock screen wallpaper I have this really pretty print that says be kind at the bottom and I edited it so that it would fit my phone perfectly and land right on that bottom line. So first we have my calendar app. It's the first of February. I can hardly believe that it's already February. <laughs> And then I have my reminders, which I use quite often. And then I have my clock, which I use every single morning as my alarm clock. You might not know, but the iPhone actually has this thing called bedtime, which um, you can put in what time you're going to sleep and what time you want to wake up. And that'll show you how many hours of sleep you're getting. And it actually will even track your sleep as well because it can kind of tell like, oh, it, it assumes you wake up once you check your phone and it assumes you go to bed once you stop going on your phone. So that's pretty cool. And then I have my settings and then I have my iPhone maps. I have my Google maps. I have my photos with my 12,000 photos. I have my camera. I have my weather app. And I have my Bible app, which I do lots of fun devotions with that and it's always nice to have a bible just on my phone in case I don't have my actual bible so I love that and then I have my Disney World app of course because I go to Disney quite often and I need to get fast passes and check reservations and then I have my New York Times app for just some good updates on what's going around on in the world and then I have my Gmail app, which I use for my personal email. And then right next to it, I have my iPhone mail app, which I use for my university email. Then after that, I have my Napster, which, which is a music service, but I'm actually about to switch to Spotify. So sorry, Napster, that'll be changing. Then I have my podcast app because I love to listen to podcasts so very much. And then, oh, comment down below your favorite podcast because I am always looking for recommendations. Then after a podcast, I have my Smartcast TV app, which goes with my Vizio TV. And then I have my Instagram, of course, my favorite app in the whole world. <laughs> and then I have YouTube. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube. And next to that, I also have my Facebook. And then of course, down here, I have some of my most popular apps. I have my phone because of course this is a phone and that is its main purpose, I suppose. And then I have my notes app. I am constantly making notes throughout the day of little quotes, words, or thoughts that come to mind. And then I have my messages app and Safari. All right, already moving on to the next page. So here, my first folder is socialize. So here I have all my other social media apps that were on the first page. So I have Twitter, Messenger, LinkedIn, GroupMe, Snapchat, and Pinterest. I love Pinterest especially. Next to that, I have Capture, which many of you have been asking me what I do to edit my Instagram pictures. So here are the applications that I use. I have Visco, I have Pixfix, which, I mean, everyone knows what Visco is pretty much. It has lots of great filters and 
things you can do to play with your photos. And I have PixFix, which just has some more filters. I definitely use Vis Visco a lot more than PixFix, but there's just an extra one. I have PixArt, which I use for collages, not for my Instagram, but for like random projects and whatnot. And then I have Aviary, and I have Lightroom. I use Lightroom for almost all of my pictures, but I typically use the desktop version. And then I have Rowana Designs, which is like a little design app with lots of fun little um, just stickers and stuff you can use. And I have Google Photos, I have Union, and iMovie. Now moving on to my shop folder. So here I have lots of different apps for different stores and different vendors. So here I have Cartwheel, which you can use at Target. I've actually saved $130.75 just by using the Cartwheel app. So that's really fun to find good coupons and then you just scan it at the end of your shopping trip. Next to that, I have Starbucks because I always need an extra little boost in college. And I have Amazon in case I need to order something. And I have Retail Me Not, which is another great app to find coupons for various stores. And then I have Yelp. And then I have Vesper, which is a coffee shop in Orlando. I have Popular Pays, Blaze Pizza, and Shop Disney Parks. And on the next page, I have Walgreens, My Verizon, Urban Outfitters, and McDonald's. <laughs> Now moving on to this folder, it is Learn folder. So here I have Canvas, which is the online system that my university uses for grades and assignments and whatnot. So it's good to get notifications on my phone from there. And then I have my dictionary, which I use quite often, especially the thesaurus. And then I have Florida, because that's my university. So that's my university's app. And then I have Quizlet, and I have Duolingo, which is a great app if you're trying to learn a new language. And then I have my Our Daily Bread, which is another devotional app. And then I have iScanner, which is a great scanner. It'll scan your assignments or any paperwork that you want scanned, and it'll make it look really, really nice, and then you can save it to your camera roll. So that's pretty neat. Okay, now we're on to Listen. So in here I have Pandora, SoundCloud, Shazam, Sonos, and Hoopla. So these are all music services. Shazam, it, it can tell you what song is playing. Sonos is for my speaker and Hoopla is for um, audiobooks. So some fun apps there. And then next to that I have Explore folder. So here I have my Airbnb app, Writer, which is actually for my bus system at my university, and then Uber, of course and kayak so kayak has lots of flights and hotel deals and all that good stuff okay next to that i have entertain i have my watch abc app netflix freeform and disneyland <laughs> so that is definitely a fun folder and then next to that i have file which i have my google drive microsoft word google sheets and dropbox and then next to that i have manage so I have my Chase Bank, my wallet, my my radar, which is kind of random. Headspace, which is like a meditation. I guess I put that there so you can manage your stress. And then I have Venmo and then Hashtagger, which I'm not sure why it should not be in manage. I'm gonna move that to socialize after that, but that just generates hashtags for social posts. And then I have Stanley, which I probably can delete now. I used it when I was figuring out how I wanted to organize my room um, in college, but I definitely can delete that now. But hey, that's cool if you're trying to um, make a sheet of how you want to organize your space. And then next to the manage folder, I have organize, which I use if then and that. And this is a cool app because whenever I post an Instagram photo, photograph it'll automatically um, post to my Twitter as well because of this app so that's pretty neat and then 53 paper I actually have never used this app but I saw it on one of the iPhones when I was at the Apple store and it looked really cool so I definitely should play around with that more maybe you will check it out too and then oh my goodness only two more folders so here I have the Apple folder which is just all these apps that I don't use that came with the phone so there's that. I actually do use voice memos quite a bit. So I like that one. 
And then other, I have my Gator Safe, which is just a safety app for my university. I have my Disney GIF app, which of course I use because that is how I get all my fun Disney gifts and I actually have a keyboard on my messages so that's amazing and then I have my pee tracker light so hopefully girls will pick up on what that is but I'm not gonna explain it and then I have my speed box which is actually a speedometer because my car speedometer is broken so I use that when I'm driving and that pretty much sums it up thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe for more videos and have a beautiful day bye